What is going on with you, YouTube? This is Regular Dave coming at you with another video. Some more Madden 16 news. I'm gonna give you a little insight on my opinion on this Madden 16 cover boat. All right, first of all, let's let's do the uh, standard, the standard procedure. We're gonna go over the people, and this time is limited. It's only four people, which I don't really get. You got ODB, Odell Beckham, you got Grunk, you got Patrick Peterson, and you got Antonio Brown. Um, it, it, this seems like a weird cast of potentially be the only people that could land the cover this year seems like in the age of the quarterback and the passing game that you at least have one quarterback i mean you don't got to put the older guys that's already been on the cover but you you figure you'd have one uh of the younger guys on there just to at least compete but this is what we're working with um if i had my choice i'd probably go with odb man i just you know what i'm not a giants fan but i feel like at at some point in his career we're gonna say he's the best receiver in football i feel like that he's that elite um, but I've been wrong many times over again, but I would pick ODB. Like if I'm a vote, I'm a vote for him. I think Gronk will take it and Gronk deserves it. I'm not going to say he doesn't because man, his personality alone is likable. So I think if you put him on the cover, you're going to get some, something good from Matt. But let's just dig a little deeper um, and why I don't feel like this matters and I really don't care. All right. Uh, for, first, let me just say Matt does an outstanding job at marketing Madden like they started early um, and a lot of things that don't even really have to do with the game they pay a whole lot of attention to the different phrases it's Madden season and all that and this cover vote gets the hype going things that don't particularly do what uh, have to do with the gameplay um, and that's their job you know I you can't knock them for doing this stuff it, it, even the, it doesn't really benefit us much as gamers you cannot be negative in any way saying they don't need to put together a good marketing uh, promotion. Sometimes I feel like that hurts us as gamers, and I'll tell you why. But, yeah, this is this is what those people on that staff and their uh, marketing guys get paid to do is, is build this hype and excitement. I'm pretty sure we're going to see a commercial um, that's going to try to top last year's commercial, which is dangerous because then, then you start selling the game on different, you know, different principles other than the gameplay. Um, but... We're going to see a commercial that's going to try to top last year's commercial, and that's their job. They would be negligent if they didn't try to put out a commercial that garnered as much hype as last year. Now, I do feel like when you start selling the game so much on hype and promotion, you get it to where it's like, all right, we don't have to make it as good as you know possible because we could sell it a different way. I do think that can be a thought um, in marketing this game when you when you don't sell it on the back of how the game plays and more on like let's promote the crap out of this game cover vote crazy commercial and whatever they come up with this year then the game don't doesn't necessarily have to be um the best it could be to sell a lot of copies now the reason why i feel like the cover vote doesn't really matter because if you take all four of these players and you play the game you probably wouldn't be able to tell them apart from the other players at the same position animation wise man these guys um i think it's just still pretty criminal that they have the license to use the actual players and they don't have specific animations and nothing signature about them um odell beckham is not going to have any more special animations than an average wide receiver right he's known for making crazy catches i mean we all know the crazy catch he made but we've seen how athletic he is uh we've seen the windmill dunk this dude is a stupid crazy athlete He's not going to have any more animations than anybody else, any wide receiver in a whole entire game. I I'll venture to say that the lowest rated wide receiver you can create in the game will have the ability to make all the same animations. He might not make the catch or they might not trigger as often, but I don't think Odell Beckham will have any extra animations. And this goes for everybody that's on this cover. And that's why I feel like the cover doesn't matter all that much to me because I don't feel that's one of the problems with Madden. Uh, since they do have the license and the players association and all that, I don't feel like they take advantage of it. I would love to see something signature other than dances. I think the closest thing they have to signature are the quarterback uh, quarterback releases. I, they've had that for quite a while. People don't notice, but yeah, every quarterback doesn't have the same wind up and throw. They, they, I think those are close to being signature. They don't, all, they don't always stand out, but I do think those vary. But as far as like watching Odell Beckham play or Antonio Brown, he's not gonna have any more precision route running um, animations than anybody else on the game. 
Gronk is not, he doesn't necessarily look like Gronk when you play. And I think that's the thing that 2K does an outstanding job. They even get players that aren't even living to have the jump shot they had, the legends um, and that. So you don't have to bring somebody in on mo motion capture to get uh, signature animations. There's some type of technology, obviously, if 2K is using it to get that stuff. That's why the coverage in, in the players itself, they don't matter all that much. Now, guess what? Some information is being released uh, in eight days. Uh, well, it depends when you're watching this, but we're gonna get some information, I think, next Tuesday, which would be the, I think, I wanna say 13th. Uh, we're, gonna get some, we're gonna get some information, and who knows? Maybe part of that information is signature styles. I, I would not rule that out. I would not throw it out. I'm not judging this game before I hear anything on it. I'm still hoping that we get a good uh, a, a good title, but uh, maybe that's one of the things they'll talk about is there are gonna have signature animations and ODB is gonna be doing some special catches and, and Gronk is gonna be lumbering down the field just bowling people over like he does in real life. Um, we'll see. But that is my take on why so far the cover vote really doesn't mean anything to me. Sound off in the comments, let me know. One, let me know who you voting for if you're gonna vote or who you would vote for. Um, two, let me know if the cover really is a big deal to you or not so much. All right, sound off and I'll get at you guys another time. Peace.